Sarah and welcome to another video. Kung bago ka pa lang sa aking channel, please don't forget to click the subscribe button and the notification bell right next to that so that you'll be notified as soon as I upload a new video. In this lesson, I'm going to talk about the following. With regard to versus with regards to. In behalf of versus on behalf of phrases na sinama ko sa ating lesson for today are some of the most commonly asked questions talaga nakakalito not only for Filipino learners but also for native speakers of English. So to help you out, I've created this video that you can review from time to time kapag nalilito-lito pa rin kayo sa paggamit ng mga words and phrases na to. With regard to versus with regards to. So what's the difference between these two forms? The first one is the grammatically correct structure or the correct um, form. Okay, you know, with regards to with the letter S is considered as poor form. It's a poor form. It's grammatically inferior based on a lot of grammar resources. Although the marami na rin yung mga taong gumagamit ng with regards to, um, considered pa rin siya as a poor form. So if I were you, I wouldn't use with regards to. Kung gusto niyo ng tama, syempre doon na kayo sa with regard to. And same lang din yan doon sa in regard to and in regards to. Okay, yung correct form dyan is in regard to. Okay? So you shouldn't add an S doon sa regard. Pero kapag as regards na ang gagamitin ninyo, tama yan. Okay? Uh, maraming nalilito dyan. Ganito lang ang strategy dyan para mas matandaan ninyo. So you should say as regards, since may S yung as, edi dagdagan nyo na lang din ang S yung regards. Okay? Now, it doesn't really have to be followed by a preposition. So as regards, and then the rest do not have an S. So you can say as regards, with regard to, in regard to. Kaparehas lang din yan ng regarding and concerning. With regard to is used to introduce the subject you're writing or talking about. Ang ibig sabihin nito sa Filipino ay tungkol sa. Katulad ng sinabi ko kanina, yung with regard to ay parehas lang sa in regard to, as regards, concerning, and regarding. Tandaan niyo na after as regards, concerning, and regarding, hindi niyo na kailangan ng preposition to. Look at these example sentences. I am writing with regard to your request. I am writing in regard to your request. I am writing as regards your request. I am writing regarding your request. I am writing concerning your request. In behalf of versus on behalf of, what is the difference between these two phrases? In behalf of means for the interest of or for the benefit of someone or something. In Filipino, ang ibig sabihin nito ay para sa kapakanabangan ng isang tao o bagay. Another way to think of it is helping someone or something. Halimbawa kayo ay sasabihin ninyo na you're raising some money in behalf of the street children. Right? So, ibig sabihin, you're raising money para sa kapakanan ng mga street children na tinutulungan ninyo. On behalf of means as the agent of or in place of someone or something. In Filipino, ang ibig sabihin nito ay sa ngala lang. Another way to think of on behalf of naman is as representing someone or something. Kaya kung nakapanood na kayo ng isang awards night, no, tapos yung tumanggap ng award is uh, just a member of the team or of the production team or ng cast, sasabihin niya, I'm receiving this award on behalf of someone or on behalf of the cast, on behalf of the production team. Or halimbawa, meron isa kang document na kailangan pirmahan, pero wala ka dito sa Philippines, you're abroad, so you can ask someone to sign it on behalf of you para magiging representative mo siya. Tandaan natin na yung in behalf of means helping someone or something, and yung on behalf of naman means representing someone or something. Bibigyan ko kayo ng mga sentences na kailangan buuin ninyo using in behalf of or on behalf of. The first sentence is, I have a power of attorney, so I can sign these documents. My mother, what is your answer? In 
If your answer is on behalf of, then you're correct. Because if you have a power of attorney, then it means you have this written authorization and you can represent your mother uh, sa kanyang private affairs, business, or some other legal matter. So you can sign the documents on behalf of your mother. You are the representative of your mother. The next sentence is blank the group. I would like to say thank you for your support. What is your answer? If your answer is on behalf of, then that is correct. You are the representative of your group at nagpapasalamat ka sa taong kausap mo sa suporta niya. Next, our foundation has raised more than 300,000 pesos, blank the victims, of the typhoon. What is your answer? If your answer is in behalf of, then you are correct because you are helping the victims of the typhoon. You have raised money para sa kapakanan ng mga biktima ng bagyo. For this one, you can write your answers in the comment section. We are collecting recyclable materials, blank, the organization that started this ecological project, blank, the environment. What is your answer? Kung nakatulong sa iyo ang ating video for this week, please don't forget to click the like button, share it with your friends, or kung kahit kanina man na sa palagay mo ay gusto rin matuto ng English, and subscribe na rin sa aking channel kung hindi ka pa nakakasubscribe. Thank you very much for joining me today, and I hope to see you again in my next video.